While you're waiting, hit the like, uh, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell to get notifications whenever I do a new video or come online live. No ankle bracelet. No ankle bracelet. No, no, no. They did used to take ballet. Uh, I took ballet, and I took martial arts. Yeah. And I'm surprised that at 50 I can still fucking bend like this, but I can. <laughs> You, you want to threaten to send the Black Panthers out to my house to kill me, my wife, and my children, motherfucker? Yeah, okay. Well, I can send somebody to your house. Turnabout's fair play, right? No, right. wait a minute. That, that, that's a terroristic threat. Well, yeah, I know. So now, you call the Black Panthers out to my house to try to kill me, my wife, and my children. You go ahead. You go right ahead, Dr. Descent. Mr. Dark Zodiac, Kenny KPZ, and all you other motherfuckers, because I'll fucking put your information. It will go viral all over the goddamn internet. And every criminal, rapist, murder, thief, anybody, anybody of ill repute that I can think of, and I know quite a few, is going to be very interested to find out that you motherfuckers put, a bunch, th put three little two-year-old babies at risk. They're going to be real interested to find out that information. Real interested. So we're going to have us a very merry motherfucking Christmas. That's right. We're going to have us a very merry motherfucking Christmas. I hope you're watching, Secular. Them, tr them calling, them, them uh, contacting every murderer and rapist and child molester they can to try to come out to my house to kill my ass? Yeah. Turnabout's fair play, motherfucker. Yeah. This is this is called expose this this live hangout's called exposure, folks. We're gonna expose some trolls. We're gonna out some trolls. And there's not a damn thing they can do about it because once it goes into the police's hands and gets public knowledge, I can talk about it all I fucking want, and there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it. Oh, and Father Judgment? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be acquiring your docs too, your real ones from YouTube. I'll be getting them, motherfucker. You know, I'm sick and tired of you motherfuckers harassing me and my family. Making lies about me and my family. Putting my children at risk. My boy could be permanently damaged because of you sick motherfuckers. And do you care? Fuck no, you don't care. It's for the lulls, right guys? It's for the lulls. Permanently damaged my boy, maybe. I don't know yet. We'll have to see. You know. If, it, if he gets to be three, four, or five years old and he's still got the mentality of a one-year-old, well, then we know there's something wrong, don't we? But now even the doctors are confused. They, they're not sure. Okay, so we're all on a wait-and-see thing here with my boy. But I'm telling you, mark my words, if something permanently damages my boy as a result of you motherfuckers calling CPS all the time, loves to dance, George Bush pimps, Sherry 226, and all the rest of you sick son of a bitches... I've got, I'm going to get you docs, man. I'm going to get a court order. I'm going to get you fucking docs. And you're going to wish to God that you were never born. And that you never, ever fucked with my children. And I'm telling you right now, you, you, you want to sit there and you want to talk shit about how these police hate me and uh, all these judges and, and prosecuting attorneys hate me and all this shit. They don't hate me. They don't hate me. That's a lie. That's a lie to stroke your ego, isn't it, secular? Yeah. Yeah, it's a lie to stroke your ego. I'll tell you what. You know what will keep your docs from ending up going viral all over the fucking internet? What will keep that from happening, motherfucker, is if you uh, delete all of your fucking YouTube accounts and you go away. And don't come back as a fucking sock either. I mean, go away. Permanently. Now, if you want to create a YouTube channel where you come back as yourself and you be a man and you talk about real shit in the world instead of harping on my ass all the time I might be agreeable to that shit now you would say well you can't put out my information the fuck I can't you son of a bitches put my name my address and my phone number all over fucking YouTube all over Daily Motion, Live Leak, and every fucking where else. So don't tell me I can put I I can't put your shit out there too. Don't tell me that shit, because I know better. 
If you can do it and get away with it, by God, I can. If I got to create sock accounts to make it happen, then by God, I'll, I'll create sock accounts to do it. Because I'm sick and tired of you motherfuckers. You put my family at risk, you son of a bitches. And I'm sick and tired of it. And it's going to stop this Christmas. Because you're going, you're, all you motherfuckers are going for a big Christmas gift this year. And you ain't going to like it. The very people that try to accuse me uh, and my wife are pedos, are pedos themselves and neglectors themselves. The very people that tried to do, you know, that tried to accuse us of being evil are evil themselves. They're, they were projecting what they were onto me, or trying to anyway. Didn't stick, obviously, but that's that's not the point. Yep, on the innocent people. And and like I said, I can give out their whole information because they are wanted by the police. So, I, you know, it's okay, you know. Yeah, yeah. Isn't, that, isn't that ironic? That the very people that want to call me a pedophile are themselves a pedophile? Isn't that amazing how that fucking shit works out? You know, and like I said, you're wanted by the police. I can give out their full information, folks. And right. like, like I said, um, you know, I've got Christmas gifts for all my troll buddies. <laughs> because I intend to get more subpoenas and get more information on these motherfuckers. Uh, and, and we're all going to have us a merry fucking Christmas. Let's dance. That's right. Let's dance, motherfuckers. You wanted the Punisher. You got the Punisher, you son of a bitches. You know? I mean, in, am I telling the truth, Eric? They yeah. wanted the Punisher, did they not? Well, you're going to get your, you're gonna get punished. punished. Equal opportunity under the law. Equal opportunity under the law. Whatever you do to me, I am legally bound to do to you. Equal opportunity under the law. Look it up. It's a legal term. Father Jay, don't don't feel lonely. I'm gonna get your shit next. And 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 putting your daughter up there and feeding your daughter full of lies, and you stalking me on the internet for seven years. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's a no no, motherfucker. But I appreciate the fact that you a admit your it's your daughter, b that she admits that she's your father. And see that she's talking bullshit out of her mouth. Because it's going to really work in my favor. You have no fucking idea what you've just done, dumbass. You just pretty much signed yourself into a fucking jail cell. You don't even fucking know it, dummy. You big dummy. But that's all right. It's all good, man. We're going to have us a, merry, a very merry motherfucking Christmas. Yes, buddy, we are. You deleting them, Betty, that YouTube account yet, Secular? You deleting your YouTube account yet, motherfucker? We're going to have us a very merry motherfucking Christmas. Threaten to send the Black Panthers out to my home to kill me, my wife, and children. Fuck you, assholes. We're going to have us a very merry motherfucking Christmas. I think I know what he's doing. See, here, 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 try to run for the cops. Well, see, here, here's the irony of this whole thing. If they try to come at me, all I got to do is say, well, let's see, I've never done, I've never harmed them physically. I've never harmed them financially. I've never said one idle word. I've never made hate videos about these individuals. Yet, every one of these individuals, yet, every one of these individuals have made hate videos about me. They've called murderers out to my home, terrorists out to my home, uh, you know, Tried to get me in trouble with the FBI, the CIA, NSA, Homeland Security. Tried to, tried to, you know, and now here just recently, try threatened to send the Black Panthers out to my home, you know, and 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 you know, and and for what? Because they don't like my fucking opinion on the internet. What the fuck, man? That's pretty. That's pretty fucking creepy. Get three words. Get a life. Yeah, exactly. They need to get a fucking life. That's that's a fact, Jack. They need to get a fucking life. Uh, I'm willing to, uh, I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. All you gotta do is just delete your secular opinion channel, and everything will be fine. Just delete your secular opinion channel and your secular revenge channel too. I'm not a racist. I've never been a racist. If you were the racist, you wouldn't be with a white girl. Yeah, if I'm if I'm so racist, why am I married to a white woman, dumbasses? <laughs> God damn. I don't have one single hate video about that about anybody because I don't do that. That's right. Well, neither I one of us do. Neither one of us do. Neither one of us do. 
I'm, I'm that's, the diff that's the difference between us and them. When I find somebody I don't like, I block and ban and I move the fuck on. I don't mm -hmm. sit there and stalk them on their Facebook and their Twitter and everywhere else for seven fucking years. Right, Mr. Father Judgment? Mm -hmm. Stalking my ass for seven years and admits it in a Google Hangout. Now, thank you for that, by the way. I, I appreciate that admission. <laughs> but then, But then he gets his daughter on video... <laughs> And uses his daughter to He's spew a, a bunch of, of slander and defamation of character out of her mouth. The alleged daughter. Yeah, alleged, yeah. We don't really know for sure. But if it is his daughter, he's in deep doo-doo. And he don't know it yet. You know what I'm talking about, right, Eric? Yeah, I've seen that video. Yeah. Using, using a child in that manner? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have us some fun. Oh, yeah. We're going to have us some fun. You never, ever supposed to get in, um, infants involved. Yep, no infants, no children. All that shit's supposed to be off limits any goddamn way. But that's all right. You want crazy? You want the Punisher? <laughs> You're going to get in spades, man. Because I don't care. I don't care. When you threaten them three little kids back there, and, uh, and let me tell you something else. The Kentucky State Police... And the troopers and the local police down here, they ain't going to say two words to me. Because everybody down here knows about you motherfuckers. Because the prosecuting attorney brought all your videos in to the courtroom and played them. Everybody knows who you motherfuckers are. Everybody. So, we're going to have some fun. Yeah, we are. Yes, indeed. Because it come out of totally out of fucking left field at my ass, you know, you know, and and it pissed me off. I've I've and never been a racist. You know, I mean, I've I've seen I've seen I've seen, seen blood and guts and 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 all this shit, and I never once let it let it affect me personally. Never yeah. once. See me in the back around thinking you're going psycho on me and shit. <laughs> I'm sitting here like freaked out, literally. See me in the back around thinking you're going psycho on me and shit. <laughs> I'm sitting here like freaked out, literally. I'm oh, like, they oh, going oh, God. oh, they want psycho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm borderline schizophrenic, am I, guys? Yeah, yeah. I saw that. I saw that Google Hangout too. Yeah, we're gonna find out who's borderline schizophrenic or not. You know, they want to plaster my name, address, and phone number out there all over the internet so that any any murderer or rapist or child molester could get a hold of that information and, and utilize it. Yeah. Yeah. I have an elephant's memory when it comes to uh, uh, shit like that, dude. I never forget. I never forget an injustice. Ever. I can tell you the names of the people in my elementary school that used to pick on me. Would you like to hear them? <laughs> I got their name. Their names are forever burned into my mind. Why? Because it's an injustice. I never forget injustices. Ever. Ever. They stay with me forever. Why is that? I don't know. It just is. It's one of those things. One of those weird things. You going to be on for a while? Um. Yeah, I guess. I'll coax the wife into getting them breakfast. I can oh, be on good here. Good luck with that. I'm going back to sleep. Go back to sleep. You woke me up. So, I'm awake too. Yes, but I didn't get to bed till three hours ago. Yeah, but I didn't get to bed till three hours ago either. No, you didn't. You went to bed at one. That, no, uh, you went to bed at midnight. No, I went to bed at one. Wait. I went to bed at one, you went to bed at three, and I got up two hours before you, so it's your time to be up anyway. So, ha, ha, ha. Well, we're just, still crashing. No. Yes. No. Get off my head. <laughs> They're sweet kids. When they're sleeping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, when they're sleeping. That's why you ain't going to sleep. Yes, I am. No, uh, -uh. Not me. Uh -uh. I can be a sweet kid all along. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're gonna help me track them kids down this morning, especially if I'm gonna do a live Google Hangouts. Hopefully, hang that happen. none of them snuck food into their bedroom again. Hopefully not. They gotta hide it now while uh, hoarding food into their bedroom. They got a hold of a box of cereal. Oh my God, cereal went everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh my! My mom said I was a real hellion when I was a baby, man. Oh, I used to, I used to rip the heads off of dolls and and, and please, drag, um, drag stuff all out. over. <laughs> I I was oh man, she said I was crazy. She said I used to yeah, be, be saying stuff like that. You know yeah. they're gonna twist that around. Oh I know. Yeah they'll cut that part out. See Von Helton admits oh, yeah, crazy. Oh yeah, you're really crazy. Yeah. 
three three psychic battles later, and I'm still sane. Mm. Yeah, okay. I'm crazy, but not that kind of crazy. You know. You're going to get your hair cut. I don't know. He wants Maybe to get I'm a buzz cut. I'm gonna get a buzz. I'm gonna get a buzz cut. Yeah. Well, I, I, I normally I get it done in spring, but it's really starting to aggravate me. So I may not wait. Oh, till come spring. on! I wanted to grow long so I can braid your hair. Yeah. Well, that would be nice too. I mean, I am India after all. But I don't know. You sure you're from India? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I'm not sure, but these folks are very sure. <laughs> these folks are very, very sure. <laughs> These folks I mean, are very, very, very great sure. Yeah, or my grandmother. 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 grandmother, not great grandmother. Grandmother. Yeah. Well, I got it. I get Cherokee. Well, but you know. I wish I could show you my great grandmother. She's um German. This one here, seventy-five percent. Look at the red in his face. This one here is seventy-five percent Cherokee. Why didn't you get red in your face? This I do have red. Quit. You do. I do. <laughs> you quit. I do have red in my face. You know I do. Quit high. Quit giving the trolls ammunition, brother. Seventy-five percent Cherokee, one hundred percent Cherokee. All right. Well, wait a minute. If they're both um, Cherokee. Then... Yes, they're both Cherokee, and then on my father's side, his mother is like fifty percent Cherokee. And your grandmother was an Indian princess. Yes, she was. That's so that correct. means you're a prince. I don't know. It is a blood disease. Okay. It is. <clears throat> yeah, it's blood disease. Okay, and and uh, the thing of it is, real vampirism is blood disease, and I am allergic to garlic, mm -hmm. and I'm allergic to sunlight, and, and bright when light he hurts was my a kid, eyes. He actually had fangs. And when I was a kid, I had four extra teeth in my fa in my mouth that were actual fangs. Yeah. Okay, and that's how the vampire thing all got started. As I was talking about my fangs, and his mother decided to get take him to the dentist to get his fangs ripped out. Yes, yeah, my mother, my my dear sainted mother, took me to the to the doctor and got my fangs removed. And unfortunately for me, uh, those fangs helped to anchor all the other teeth in place. And then when they removed them, they left gaps, so they took braces and tried to you know squish them all together. It didn't <coughs> fucking work out. What ended up happening is it loosened all the teeth in my head out. Allowed infection to get in there, mm -hmm. at, you know, over a period of time, and you know the rest. Now I'm toothless. Um, when I was uh, pregnant with my eldest, I almost had leukemia. Almost. Not quite, but almost. I was pretty much at the borderline. I had to get blood tests every week. I hated that. And I said, look, you're going to have to knock me out of something because I hate needles. <laughs> mm. I had a friend, a close friend. His name was Mike, and Mike, unfortunately, unbeknownst to me, and unfortunately, was a heroin user. And I, he, he wanted me to come out to his house one day and hang out with him, and I did so. Unbeknownst to me, he had OD'd on heroin, and so I'm sitting there, and we're we're chatting up, we're you know we're being cool and everything, everybody's chilling. And then all of a sudden, he collapses literally in my arms and dies. Okay? Mm -hmm. And, you know, unless you go through something like that personally, you can't say one word to me. Okay? Because it was a very unique experience. It was a very traumatic experience. And uh, But he literally collapsed and died in my arms from an OD of heroin. And um, so here's the thing. Um, you know... That was one of the reasons. There were other reasons, which I will not say publicly. But because of the circumstances that had occurred in my life and things that I had seen over the years, I swore an oath to protect and defend the weak, the infirm, and the innocent. And I, and I meant every word of it just as much as I swore an oath to protect and defend the Constitution. Just as much. Yay. Oh, you got your Powerade. I love Powerade myself. Hell yeah, man. Saved my little girl's life. My little girl was uh, bad dehydrated. Her eyes started rolling in the back of her head and shit. Damn. Like, oh, fuck. You know, so uh, I grabbed me a Powerade and shoved yeah, it in her mouth. That, you took her to the hospital. And then we took her to the hospital. Yeah, sure did. Saved her life, literally. Powerade literally saved my girl's life. 
said that said uh, said if we'd have been late getting her there, she'd have died. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> yeah, that was scary. That was some scary shit, buddy. You know what it was? It was a damn stomach bug. The stomach bug was dehydrating her, and and uh, and uh, it almost did the same thing to me. And it almost did the same thing to the wife too. Eh? Yeah. And uh, but yeah, the stomach bug, uh, the stomach bug was dehydrating her, and she got to the point where that her eyes literally started rolling back in her head, and I'm like, oh shit! And I'm telling the wife, keep her awake, keep her awake, keep her awake, you know, because if they go to sleep, that's it, you know, got to keep her awake, and 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 I'm pouring Powerade down her throat, you know, and uh, so yeah, Powerade literally saved my little girl's life, man. Uh, you know, free plug there, Powerade. You got your free plug. But, uh, <coughs> but yeah, literally saved my kid's life, buddy. I'm convinced of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, amazing. But, yeah, man, I, you know, <coughs> I saw her eyes rolling in the back of her head. I'm like, oh, shit. You know, we got to, we got to, uh, you know, keep her awake, and then I got to get some fluids in her, you know. And uh, the doctors all said, yeah, said, yeah, man, and if you'd have been just a, just a little bit late getting her here, she wouldn't have made it. Here is a, this here is my father's ship in World War II. It's a fast frigate. And I believe that is the gun he operated, a 40-millimeter mic mic, as they say. Um, and uh, this is his ship, and... The frame has broken, so I need to I need to get a new frame for it, and it's quite old, as you can see. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I want to I want to give you particular attention to the uh, star silver stars down here, uh, and one here and one over there. Okay, um, and 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 uh, this is my father's ship. And the trolls and haters tried to uh, talk shit about my father and him a silver, silver star recipient. But they tried to talk shit about him. And, uh, you know, that's, that's just the extent that these lowlifes will go uh, to talk shit about a uh, World War II veteran that literally prevented them from speaking Japanese or, or German. You know, because that would have been the ultimate outcome. You know, Russia, or uh, Russia, not Russia, but uh, Germany and Japan had uh, designs on world conquest. You know, I mean, if you want to play a game and you want the absolute best in quality, it's going to be Star Citizen. You're going to need a powerful gaming computer. Well, it just so happens that's what I make. And, you know, so with, it, with Star Citizen coming and people going to be needing new computers... I don't need a bunch of sick motherfuckers out here calling me pedo and terrorist and vampire and all this other bullshit. You know, I don't need that shit because I've got computers to sell, you know, that to people for when Star Citizen comes out. Because you're going to need a hefty computer, folks. I'm not going to lie to you. Star Citizen is going to be top-of-the-line shit. You're going to need a top-of-the-line video card. You're going to need a top-of-the-line CPU. You're going to need a top-of-the-line motherboard and all this other stuff. You're going to need you're going to need a really beefy computer to play Star Citizen, and that's what I make. I make customized gaming computers with multiple monitor systems. In fact, I just got my where is my where's my cards at? Um, I just got me a new set of cards just the other day. You know, because the trolls are trolls are saying, oh yeah, uh, it's you know. It's not, uh, he, you know, it's not, it, you know, he he he's not in business and all this shit. You know, there's my there's my pack of cards, guys, brand new, just got them. I'm covering over my phone number because my phone number's unlisted. But uh, yeah, just got me a brand new thing of, of business cards. I am in business for myself. I have been for, well, ever since I've been down here to Kentucky, and that's been over 20 years. You know, I I am, you know, I have cre I have. Um, um, references and all that good shit. Uh, because I I didn't have many toys when I was a kid, and so you know I went out of my way to make sure that my children have plenty of toys to play with, and they were doing. Uh, well, 
Well, they're my kids, damn it. If I want to spoil them, that's my thing, you know. <laughs> you know, but I, but I, you know, and I hear what you're saying. But I mean, you know, I, I just, you know, I didn't have many toys, and I wanted to make damn sure that my kids had plenty of toys, and um, and so I did. 